another Subnautica. Uh, this is a continuation of yesterday's. Not a lot will happen here. Um, hopefully I've positioned the mic a little better so you don't get those uncomfortable breathing sounds like I noticed yesterday. Um, this is uh, slightly shorter than yesterday's, which is probably a good thing. Uh, the thing there that's blowing out stuff is hot, so you don't want to get near that when you're out of this. I'm not sure what it would do to the Seamoth, but I haven't experimented with that yet. It'll probably damage it because it's also blowing around debris from the wreck. And picking up some wreckage because, you know, titanium. You can never have enough titanium. So you get a lot of titanium, you can make titanium ingots. Then you can make plasteel, which will come in handy later. Much later, from the looks of it. Um, at one point in time, I think after daylight, I'm not positive. I will see it soon. I won't say anything until it happens. How's that? Uh, it's still not super well, but I'm definitely better. The sea moth burns through batteries, or um, power cells, I should say. And I have to go out and make more batteries so I can make power cells. <laughs> it's all very convoluted. Um, I actually was exploring today. I didn't record it though and found a couple of power cells that were in good shape. So. And I have a battery charger now. It would be nice if there is a way to deconstruct those power cells back down to the batteries so that you could charge them. Because I, I have not found plans for a power cell recharger yet. I know they're there, that they're, it's there, I just haven't found it yet. My next um, recording will hopefully be me exploring the Aurora, which is the crash. I went in there a little bit today, but did not record because I was just trying to figure out how to get inside. And I have not yet. Apparently you cannot break that coral. So, yeah. Uh, yesterday I also made a propulsion cannon and it took me forever to figure out how to work it. It actually um, pulls them in with a gravitational field when you pull the trigger and then once they're closed you pull it again and it will fling them away really hard. The idea either being to fling them as far away from you as possible or to fling them against something that will kill them. So I would manage to clock, manage to kill the majority of the little crab thingies in that area of the crash that I was at. Uh, as you can see, this really takes a lot, a lot of mining of material, and after a while, it gets kind of difficult to find the materials that you need. Um, without venturing out of your safe zone. In the area that I'm in right now is relatively safe. There are no uh, um, really vicious and insane creatures in here except for those little, I can't remember what they're called, but they blow out the yellow stuff out their rear ends when you get close to them or when they get excited and that stuff is deadly 
It kind of looks like sulfur almost, maybe. It's yellow. That is the sound of a fish hitting the side of your boat. Clunk, clunk. <laughs> uh, it's even more enjoyable when you're going really fast. Boom. But it's not as enjoyable as ramming your sea moth into something solid and damaging it. Because then you have to get out and repair it if you damage it a lot. Because the threat of something attacking it is always there. That little dude that you just saw creeping up on me can't hurt the sea moth. But it can hurt me if I'm outside of the sea moth. He's in an area where there is thing, are things that I need that I have to just go away and come back again later. Whee! Um, if you're sitting really close to the TV screen and do those spins, it becomes very disorienting and disorientating and very nauseating. So, if you're going to be stupid and do spin moves. Stay back from the TV. <laughs> yes, I, I I learned some of the stupidest things, but that's me. Uh, I am feeling better today. I should have mentioned that to begin with, but I'm feeling somewhat better today, and that is a huge plus. That makes me very happy. I mean, I'm not 100%, but I'm definitely about. 45 or 50. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, whoever you are. Thank you, recorded voice. Uh, I can't remember what I was trying to make it this time. Uh, wiring kits, yes. We are coming upon the end of this particular gameplay. I don't know how much further it goes. Let's make some titanium before it ends, because that's always exciting. I keep, when I click on the lockers, I keep accidentally cl clicking the rename button, and I don't mean to. Anyway, that's about all for this one. So I'm going to say let's go to the real world. Yay! <sighs> okay, the gameplay video you just saw will be the last one of Subnautica for a while. Until they fix this little bug that causes your save to corrupt. Uh, several hours of work just went down the drain. I am very unhappy with that I, I, I know going in it's gonna happen and I knew the bug was there I was just I was hoping I was being very precautious about saving at the same particular place every time because hoping maybe it was a bug as to where you were or something but apparently it's just a bug that pops up randomly whenever it wants to and bends you over and plows you without any loop. <sighs> on the other, on the bright side, at least you'll get a a one and two now because I'm going to have to start over. Completely over from the beginning. This makes me so sad. So, so sad. So, anyway, I'm going to put an end to this day and my misery. It started out well because I was feeling better, and then my safe file moved down on me and ruined the entire effing day. So, with that said, peace rock on. 
see you tomorrow.